Welcome and today we're diving into the quirky and delightful world of Thank Goodness You're Here, a game that's been making waves with its unique charm and engaging gameplay. Buckle up because we're going on a roller coaster of humour, challenges and achievements. So let's get started. Bammy buzzers, buttery nubs, bammy buzzers, buttery nubs, bammy buzzers, buttery nubs, bammy buzzers, buttery nubs. Thank Goodness You're Here is a delightful indie game developed by Cole Suffer and published by Panic Inc. It combines humour, adventure and a bit of puzzle solving into one delightful package. The best part, it costs just about £10, making it a great value for all the fun it offers. The game's story mode took me about 2 hours to complete, but if you're aiming to collect all the achievements, you're looking around about 5 hours of gameplay. So let's break it down. The story of Thank Goodness You're Here revolves around a small sleepy town that's suddenly turned upside down when a mysterious stranger arrives. You play as this stranger, navigating through a series of hilarious and often bizarre scenarios. It's so bizarre that the stranger that you play as seems to differ in size depending on the scenario. The writing is sharp, the characters are memorable and the overall experience is just plain fun. The developers have done an excellent job of creating a world that is both charming, intriguing, and a little bit perverse. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in till. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. The humour in this game is very funny, dry, and dirty. It is proper English humour with some of it making me laugh as much as it was cringeworthy. But let's talk about what many of you are here for, the achievements. Thank goodness you're here offers a variety of achievements that will keep you engaged and challenged. There are a total of 34 achievements categorised into main story achievements, exploration achievements and collectible achievements. So let's dive into some examples. The main story achievements are the bread and butter of the achievements. You'll learn these simply by progressing through the main storyline. They're straightforward and ensure you're following the game's narrative. For example, Thank Goodness Is Over is a gold achievement awarded for finishing the game. Another one is Open For Business, a bronze achievement you get for fixing the fryer with the mechanic. Exploration achievements. These require you to thoroughly explore the game's world. You'll need to interact with various characters and uncover secrets. An example is Friend of the Forest, a gold achievement for finding all the woodland creatures. Another one is Patience is Virtue, a gold achievement for simply waiting in the mayor's reception area for 15 minutes and then you'll be invited into the mayor's office, ending the game early. Little bit of advice is that I would check every side of the screen, even if you can go out of the screen, even when it doesn't look like you can. And the final type is Collectible Achievements. As with many games, there are items to collect. In this, it's more collecting experiences. These achievements require you to find and gather all collectibles scattered throughout the game. For instance, no post on Thursdays. This is a silver achievement for damaging every post box in town. And one of the funniest other collectibles is the Rat Pack achievement. A silver achievement for finding the singing mice hidden in various trash bins and bags throughout the town. I puzzles. I love puzzles. Now there is no real hard achievements in the game and it is usually just missing little bits from exploration that the game doesn't explain and this game will reward your curiosity. With a bit of perseverance and being curious you can definitely snag them all. For the trophy hunters out there I'll rate the achievement difficulty an 8 out of 10. It's not too challenging and it can be done in two playthroughs. So what's the final verdict of thank goodness you're here? Overall, I give this game a solid 9 out of 10. It's fun, engaging and packed full of charm. The achievements are well designed and offer a good mix of challenge, but they do require some dedication to complete. 
Whether you're here for the story, the humor, or the challenges, thank goodness you're here has something for everyone. I highly recommend giving it a try. And like I said, it's just over £10. For five hours worth of play, I think that's worth it. So let me know, have you played Thank Goodness You're Here? What did you think of it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and what game you would like me to 100% next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I love a chicken bake, please love. Ah, well with no butter today, Colin's gone and lost it. So it's vegan. I hope that's alright. Oh no, I'd rather shit bed.